Hi, I'm Robert Coleman. I'm a Senior Applications Manager at Texas Instruments. Welcome to Power Tips. Hi, welcome to Power Tip 50. In this Power Tip, we will discuss the aluminum electric capacitor, some of its benefits and some pitfalls that you might fall into if you're not careful in its application. Aluminum electrolytic capacitors are very popular because they're very low cost. They're probably the lowest cost approach to a power supply output filter. However, you have to put up with some downsides to these capacitors also. They're rather large compared to some other choices for the capacitors. They have a limited life. They have a built-in wear-out mechanism uh, that limits their life to 10 or 20,000 hours, especially at higher operating temperatures. And then also that their performance is pretty poor over temperature. So here's how you might calculate the lifetime of an aluminum electrolytic capacitor. You'll find that the lifetime of, of the capacitor is set by the base lifetime of the capacitor times some function of its operating temperature and a second function of the applied voltage to the capacitor. Typically, you'll see this baseline lifetime of 1,000 to 2,000 hours for capacitors. There, there are some that go as high as 5,000. Um, you'll see that operating temperatures on most aluminum electrolytic capacitors are limited to 105 Although there are capacitors that only go to 85 degrees and there are other capacitors that go to 125 degrees C. So the first function is a pretty simple one. This function that of the applied temperature to the capacitor is this relationship here that the F1 is equal to 2 to the delta T divided by 10. And so very simply this says that the life of the capacitor halves for a 10 degree C rise in the operating temperature of the capacitor. So that means that if you have an application where you want to have a 25,000 hour life, you have to limit the capacitor temperature to about 65 degrees C. In many applications, you'll see that people aren't mindful of, of this situation. If you'll take apart many of the LED uh, replacement light bulbs nowadays, you'll find that inside those ballasts for those uh, light bulbs, you'll find a aluminum electrolytic capacitor. And these surely won't make the 25 year lifetimes that they're advertised on the LED lights. So the second function of the lifetime rating of the capacitor was the applied voltage. And here I've plotted the stress ratio of the uh, applied voltage to the life multiplier. And you can see for a 60% uh, derating of the capacitor, you only doubled the life of the capacitor. And so that's not a very strong impact on the life of the capacitor. The temperature impact was much stronger. And what you'll find if you want to try to operate at these reduced voltage stresses on the capacitor, that the capacitor that you choose is going to have a significantly higher ESR than a capacitor with not as much voltage derating. And so many times you're actually reducing the life of the capacitor by improving the stress ratio. Typically people use about an 80 percent stress ratio on the aluminum electrolytic capacitors because of this impact. Now the second thing that you you have to be very mindful of in these aluminum electrolytic capacitors is as a dielectric gets cold, its characteristics degrade. Uh, for instance, you're going to lose a significant amount of capacitance at low temperature, and then you also have a significant increase in ESR. And both these parameters may change as much as a 10 to 1. And so this results in 10 to 1 increase in output ripple. This has significant impacts on the control loop of the power supply. If you're crossing the control loop of the power supply with current mode control, and if the crossover is set by the ESR of the output capacitance, you're going to see a 10 to 1 gain change in, during that time, and that's going to impact your transient response. Similarly, if you, you are looking at the output impedance of an input filter, and that filter has 
these al aluminum electrolytics operating at low temperature, that'll increase the source impedance. And that can result in oscillating power systems. So when you use these capacitors over a wide temperature extreme, you're going to have to severely compromise your design. You're going to have to comprehend a 10 to 1 change in ESR, a 10 to 1 change in capacitance, and you're going to have to design your control loops accordingly. And you're also going to have to comprehend that your output ripple is going to change by a factor of 10 to 1. And so that ha has significant impact on choice of components. So aluminum electrolytic capacitors are very popular due to their low cost. However, you have to watch out for a couple of things. They're life limited. And if you operate them at high temperatures, uh, you may not achieve the desired system life. The life of the capacitor goes down by a factor of two for every 10 degrees that you run it hotter. And then finally, the impedance of these capacitors radically increases at cold temperature. For instance, at minus 40 degrees C, you have a 10 to 1 change in ESR and you have a 10 to 1 decrease in capacitance. And this can create all kinds of issues for you and your circuit, such as starting up at cold temperatures. That's it for this power tip. For more power tips, visit Power Management Design Line and search for power tips or you can click on the link to all articles in the description section of this video. Thank you for your attention.